Hello everybody, my name is Isaac, and in this video we're going to talk about Postal, a node management tool that I have been working on recently. Postal is very similar to Stamps in terms of there is a parent node and multiple children of that parent node that are connected up to the parent. Postal is a lightweight, more boiled down version of Stamps. Uh, where, some, where some features are similar and some features are different, but overall, Postal works with a lot fewer things running in the background. So let's get right into the demo. How you get going on this is you'll want to select a node that you'll want to be used as the anchor and press F9 by default on your keyboard. It'll get you with this little prompt box where you want to uh, select a name. So this is our, you know, maybe this is our BG01 degrain plate and you'll see after entering that in it creates two different nodes here uh, it creates this light blue one which is the parent node and it creates this dark blue one which is the child the parent node is what pops up in the properties bin the parent node has a couple different options here that you can play around with and the child node has fewer options down here let's look at the parent node first the parent node has a couple different buttons here the most obvious is the create child button where once pressed, it will create another child uh, of, the, of the parent node. And the children are always created with an input hidden pointed to uh, uh, the parent node and always with the same name as the parent node as well. So looking through with the viewer at any of these children, we'll see the same uh, parent node. Uh, you can also create a child by copying another child and pasting it. Note automatically, the pasted child won't be connected to the parent. You'll have to come in and press the connect to parent button, uh, and then it is fully connected. Uh, moving on to the parent node, you're able to select all the children at the same time, and you'll also be able to toggle their inputs as well. So pressing a toggle input will unhide all their inputs, and similarly pressing again uh, will hide them away again. You can change the label of your parents, so maybe you know, I, I, I mistyped something, I don't want this to be the bg one degrain. You can come in and type in a new label, for instance, here, and then press update label, and that label will be translated to all of the children. Moving on to the child tab, this is kind of like an under the hood kind of feature here. Uh, this keeps a running list of all of the children, um, so you don't need to have any extra files uh, on the side. Um, and this, uh, this list of children corresponds to the names of each of these nodes here. See, if I go in and delete one of the children and press update, you can see that that child node has been deleted. Most of the time, you won't need to mess around with this, but if you need, for whatever reason, to come in and add in your own uh, children or remove some by hand for whatever reason, you're able to do that right here in the list of children. Now, you can have as many of these uh, parent anchors as you want. Let's see, we have, uh, maybe this is some kind of CG over here with a, a beauty pass, some ID, and some ads. You'll be able to come in here, press F9. Let's make our, this is our CG uh, RGBA, something like that. So now we have our, uh, our CG RGBA there, and now, you know, we could do this again. This is, you know, the CG ID pass. Anchor that one. And then finally, maybe we have the... Uh, CG additive pass. And there you go. So now we can use these anywhere we want uh, in our comp. So let's, uh, you know, maybe we have a roto shape here, and I'm just going to make a pretty simple, uh, simple mask uh, like this. Nothing too crazy. Now maybe our comp is getting really, really big, and maybe this is like a big key or something like that. We want to be able to use this mask in multiple places in our comp. So the whole point here is you'll be able to. Uh, drop in a new anchor. Uh, we're going to name it my mask, and now you're going to be able to use our child wherever we want in the node and be able to adjust our mask in one place. This is nice, you know, you don't have to work with toggling hidden inputs. Um, you don't have to, you know, be piping stuff all around your comp and make things confusing. So, what we can do, maybe we come in here and take our, you know, BG pass. Let's go ahead and uh, BG01. Let's update that label. We can come in here and you know, maybe we have a little grade that we can hook into our uh, BG01 here and now we could, you know, malt this up. And how about like maybe later on in the comp we need to, 
you know, uh, uh, do some other grade or, you know, anything else that, you know, requires using this mask again. So what we can do is come into the mask. We can create another child. You know, maybe it's a far way away, so we can just uh, copy it or uh, uh, cut it and paste it down over here and make sure we connect it up to the parent. You know, and then we can go ahead as normal and, you know, drop a grade in or something or merge it or whatever we need, uh, whatever we need to do. Great. Uh, moving on to the child, you'll notice that the child has two little knobs here. We have the parent ID for the child. This is the name of the actual node uh, of the parent node itself. So if I come in here and look at the my mask parent node, you know, we're connected to Roto 1 three, seven, nine, uh, four, nine, five, which is the same as the parent node. So for whatever reason, these get unlinked. Uh, you're able to manually uh, drop in the parent name itself. And then of course we have the label as well. Uh, my mask for, you know, for whatever reason, you probably won't ever need to change these, but they're there in case you need uh, to really get in there. All right. That's pretty much it surrounding this tool. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me an email or post a comment on this video or the blog. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much. Happy comping.